Oh, I am live. Oh, look, for the replayers, you don't know um, what trouble we've been having. It's 14 minutes past and I'm now just checking. Um, yes, I need to close this. Oh, for goodness sake. People will find me, I'm sure. I'm sure. Oh, there's Kathy and oh, just internet. Internet. It, did, the internet didn't work. Hi, replayers. <laughs> and Kathy and Dixie come. And there's Pam. I just had a little phone call from Julia and she said that there were people waiting in another stream. So, we're here now. Dar, oh, so nice to see you. And Joe, so nice to see you. Malaya, too. Oh, come on in. Let's not let things like the internet get us down. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> As people are coming in, I will, I will, um, in from the other stream, there I am, Becky. Oh, you know the internet. And what happened when I had that trouble a few weeks ago? I thought what I should have done is rebooted and started again. So that is what I did. And so that's made me late, but I think it's a good exercise in just don't sweat the small stuff obviously when I say sweat I do need to mop my brow because it's it's a little where's my tissue oh I think it's down there <laughs> you do that when I'm online I put it under here Carol good morning there's lovely Gail good morning Gail so nice to see you oh hi Beth so nice to see you I don't know whether the other stream is open um, yet. <laughs> it's still open, but uh, this one we'll go. We'll go with this one because the internet's working. Oh, now when I was doing the toucan a while back, here we are. <laughs> here it is. I know. I'm sorry, Ka um, Carol. Yes, I've been sat here. Everything was tested, camera and sound. And then the internet decided not to work. <laughs> and good morning. You've been giving us some lovely streams, Carol and Anne. And Beth, yesterday, Beth, wasn't it a busy day for live streaming? Barbara, there's Barbara. Good afternoon. It's cup of tea time here isn't it in in the UK Barbara's sitting down for a little rest <laughs> after a busy morning when I was doing I showed you this scrap patch toucan it was someone in chat who was it who was it in chat said oh that would make a nice journal cover so I made a note <laughs> I made a note and um here we are. Is it, uh, have I got both Barbaras here? I, I haven't seen that come on my chat yet. I can see Barbara. Uh, there we are. There's Barbara. I've got two Barbaras. <laughs> One's not enough. Gail's got her first cup of tea of the morning right there. That's such an important cup of tea, isn't it? Um, um, Gail, it really is. There's Kathy D. Good morning, Kathy. So nice to see you. I'm going to be showing everybody your wonderful um, patch in a minute. <laughs> oh, this is so nice. I'm so glad that I managed to get this working. Do you know, we just take this internet for granted, don't we, really? It's just, ah, oh, so nice, so lovely. I'm so glad that we can spend this time together. And there's Mika. Mika's all the way over in, is it Norway? I'm going to say Norway. Welcome, Mika, into the chat. It's her first time here. And we met over at Carol's, didn't we, at the week at Belgium. What am I like? <laughs> 
I don't believe it. Oh, see, I'm smiling more than normal because when you think you can't have something, when you get it, it makes you even happier, doesn't it? I thought, oh, it's not going to work and I'm not going to be able to see everybody today. So it's lovely. I'm going to say hi to the lovely people in the background and to the lovely people that are watching the replay. <laughs> oh. oh, solar events happening, which I think disrupt internet signals. Oh, really? Your, yours has been horrendous. Oh, OK, Malaya. Not just me. Right, yes. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's fine. It's all about you, Gail. Gail Ann. Yeah, you weren't ready. You were in the shower. Blame at Gail Ann. Just like um, Anne Lair blames Becky when her cat meows during stream. <laughs> Look, let me show you what I'm making today then. Let me guide you through it. <laughs> it's not a tutorial. <laughs> You probably won't even get a good look at it. I'm going to see Freddie. Cooper's asleep. Julia, thank you for your concern. And thank you for telling everybody to come over to this game. Come on, darling. Come and sit up here so people can see you, darling. Come and sit up here. It's probably because the cool breeze is coming through the door. He is down there. Hopefully, you'll sit up later. <laughs> Believe me, he is here. <laughs> is that Kimberly? Good morning, Kimberly. Now, what have you got planned this week, Kimberly? Because I know that you had a really hectic week. The garden doesn't stop growing, though, does it, Kimberly? <laughs> I'll pop that there. And so let me show you first. I've made the lining. Now, I'm not a sewer. Am I, Aunt Bex? So I might be going about this all the wrong way. And and our lovely Becky can come up with um, some advice, maybe. <laughs> so I've made the, I think it's quite, yes. Yes, this is a, Anne, it's the back, back to frontness and right ways and wrong ways guesses every time doesn't it they're so so good afternoon come on in has hubby made you a coffee <laughs> sue's doing some slow stitching oh so you can whatever journal you've got this is my composition book from candy so i've just pinned it up here and i've done this to make sure that it fits bend it back a bit it's very nice strong composition book here. Ah, oh, lovely to see everybody, it really is. So that, yes, that fits like that. So it's going to have pockets like that. And so then I come in with the cover, beautiful piece of, you finally caught up, thank you. Mum and Dad are safe and sound in Florida. And you're back to your routine now. Yes, yes, yes. You're, you've got your lovely, lovely garden, haven't you? Patty, good morning. So nice to see you. Welcome. Come on in. Come on in. We're, we, we're having a really, we're, we're having a relaxing morning together and just celebrating the fact that we can, We've got this medium that we can share with one another. I love it. So that goes in the middle. And eventually I'm going to, yes, that's it. So that gets, this will get sewn, that I'll unpin that, that gets sewn onto the lining. I'll slow stitch it onto the lining. And you will have it will look like that a wonderful scrappy patch 
<laughs> yeah, Journey, he's just down there. I've got the door open, so he's got the breeze. Good morning, Journey. So nice to see you. Oh, um, wait a little minute. I've got something to show you. Oh, there's Stephanie G. Oh, Stephanie. It, yes, it was someone in chat. That's what I love about this the chat and I love about the comments because we share ideas it's lovely mm. you complain about your daily routine and then when it goes out of the window yes yes it's not till something's taken away that you do appreciate the little things say when you've been ill and some of you still are and you can't get out to the shops maybe something that you took for granted yeah, you, you it helps you appreciate it more. There's Jennifer. Good morning, Jennifer. So nice to see you. Come on in. Come on in. Oh, when I when I see blue things, I think of Jennifer, and they come hold up a little envelope down here. <laughs> so lovely. So yes. So it will be just. I will. Because it's all scrap patch, I will just sew it all round there. So let me take it from here now. Is that clear as mud? So that's the lining that way round. And that, that gets unpinned and sewn like that. Clear as mud. Oh, I hope, I hope, I hope it's okay. So then let me share with you. I'll share with you how to do it, but let me share with you who gave me the fabrics, with these little people from you, Julia, dear. Got some of my own fabric. Now, Journey, these little squares are from you. Isn't that lovely? There's, there's fabrics from the community in here. Oh, there's little pickles. Good morning. So nice to see you. Oh, so nice to see you. If I've missed you, or if you're in chat and you see that I've missed somebody, could you just let me know? Because that's the most important thing to me. <laughs> Chatting with you, you, yeah. Mm. Yes, they were. These little people, they're great for slow stitching. I just cut them out, but I thought it'd be nice to add some. This fabric was from Meljoy in the Happy Mail last week. And that's some fabric that Mel Joy gave me a long time ago. So isn't that lovely? And there was, I think there's some bits that are upside that have to go the right way. This is fabric. It's that like 1950s fabric from Melanie. Hi, Pam. Good evening. I trust you that you've had a good Monday. Come and settle down with us and rest and relax oh so nice to see you <laughs> oh mm. if i'm missing anything yes lots of pugs for gail Ann. definitely definitely yes um yes so that's what i'm doing does it does it need explanation maybe not but do you know one of the lovely things about making this is the fact can you see how tactile it is because it it just it's the raw edges so let me let me get some fabric let's let's pop a little garden gnome on shall we <laughs> just because we can let me lift it up a bit like this and then you might have a fighting chance of seeing. <laughs> Let's pop a garden gnome on, shall we? I just do them anywhere and everywhere because later on you can always come in with little patches if you've got some nice fabric. I just want to show you how I do the corners. Let's go in, let's go in here and see. <laughs> oh. Girl, um, mm -hmm. sending you love. There's Janice. It's a Scrapping Lizzie special, raw edges. Janice, you are so right. What an inspiration Lizzie is. And um, Carmen. 
and Tracy Turner there on um, Scrapping Liz's website. I will make a note, hold on, um, and put some links in later, definitely. Oh, Jenren Scraps. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, Vanessa. Thanks, Vanessa. Jen, I, I can't remember whether I said hello to you. If I didn't, hi. Yeah, so, so influenced and inspired by wonderful Lizzie. So what you do is, have I got the glasses on top of my head? No. <laughs> so what you do is you get the corners like this. There's two corners here. The whether you can see, and you put them like this, and then you put that corner right in there. And then make sure the fabric here is, is up like that. Let me pin it and then I'll lift it to the camera and see if you can see that any better. <laughs> so I was sitting, this is what I was doing yesterday when I was chatting in chats with people most of the day. We were at Anne's. Beth, Deb Ferrell, I miss, I, I, I miss some people because I was out walking. So you push it, you can see. So you've got, and then you just sew round it and it's just so relaxing. Yeah, and there's Dana, Scrappy Girl Dana, so nice to see you. Yes, that's it. Well, we channel yesterday Dana or were we on Rebecca's I lose track of whose stream we were on but it was such fun <laughs> such fun <laughs> oh so then what you do is you get your needle and you put it right into the corner where these three join up and make like a little stitch and that just makes the makes the corners stand up so i will be finishing this off there we are oh so so nice so you can you can actually sit and sew or just pet it at the same time <laughs> oh it's early in the morning vanessa don't worry we read Taiwanese, as beth would say don't we oh nice to see you <laughs> don't feel any pressure to to type either <laughs> let's see if i can get freddie to sit up for you maybe he can't be bothered he is very tired they've been playing this week we've been out for our walk and they've been playing Yes, I love a slow stitch project. I always have one on the go. There's Crafty Karen. So nice to see you. Come on in. Come on in. I'm doing slow stitch, Karen. <laughs> oh, oh, Jennifer's giving us. Oh, I'm going to put my glasses on to thread the needle. Oh. <laughs> Jennifer's giving us all a lovely coffee. I've just had a cup of tea <laughs> and we'll be having a snack time. Oh, thank you all for waiting for me this morning. It's so kind of you. I was a little late. I think people probably know that it's internet um, issues. Yes, yes. It takes a lot to, it only just takes a lot to stop me being here with you on a Monday. I love it. Mm. <laughs> You spilt yours and you're wearing it. Oh, oh no, it didn't get on projects, did it? <laughs> oh, hi, Colin. So nice to see you. So tell me what's on your desk. What have you been up to this week? And if I don't get to answer you, because sometimes I ask a question and then I don't see the answer, but I do, I do read chat later so I, I can see. So just, yep. Yeah. This isn't actually even that square. Let's um, cut this down a bit. 
um, here. Cooper's fast asleep, isn't it? Isn't it? In the hello, Mary. So nice to see you. I'm doing um a slow stitch project here, inspired by someone in the chat who said, "Let's let's use this technique to make a journal cover." <laughs> we inspire one another, don't we? Oh, um, little pickles is colouring and watercolouring. I liked your background, um, Little Pickles. You used, was it Magicals? Oh, I bet it was so shiny. I love it. It's just frustrating if you're using a colouring book and it goes through the pages, I know. That's hard, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Jen has a bunch of fabric you're going to put away in a tote for later. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, you can do this when you have time. Absolutely, definitely. Yes. Now, the title today, which I didn't have chance to put in because of the internet issues and getting back. But our title today is create what makes you feel happy because sometimes you know we see so much inspiration and online and and it can become yeah do make notes becky's cooking her oatmeal and watching <laughs> do do make notes it's a great idea to make notes and some of you have um i creative i Society of Idea Books, and that's Dee Dee's idea, isn't it? And but just create what makes you feel happy. Don't forget to be you. Mm. Just, yeah, don't forget just to be you. We don't have to compare ourselves to others. And hmm. Uh, missing what you're um what you're saying julia but you can message me if i miss anything but i will catch up with chat later as well yes yeah. and then when you get to where the other stitches are just i've gone all round i've gone all round my little gnome and of course my needle keeps on threading Hmm. You'd like to see a cat or an owl on here. On here. <laughs> Where's my glasses? Hmm. Yeah, Jen, yes, do. If you want to, yeah, this is just to get the raw edges. Use glue. I've um I've done fabric on deli paper, patchwork fabric on deli paper, glued it. I think I've done a stream very early on. And then when that was dry, I, I did some stitches or you can do faux stitches. Yes, Jen, you do you. Glue your fabric onto paper to make a journal cover. Definitely. Anyway, I'll take my glasses off now. Mm. And you're working in your composition book at the moment, Jen. Mm. Will I will I show this when I get a chance? Do, um, will I lift it up to the camera? Is that what you mean? That that close up? Yes, of course. Yes, of course I will. Of course I will. Um, so when you get to the edge, I've made sure there's a nice little edge here and a nice little edge on the other side. And I put my needle really close to where that is. So it sandwiches them together and makes them stand up. <laughs> hmm. Did that help, um, Dixie? 
Oh, you had a shopping delivery and had to put it away. Oh, Ali, yes. Time for a cup of tea now, Ali. Yes, yes. Now, congratulations to you. I have, did I mention it last week? You did the index card a day challenge and you did all 60. That was amazing, very creative. I enjoyed them looking at them all. Hmm, there we are. That's it. Here we are. So, yes, I'm just going to be adding patches here. And when I get happy mail, I put I put them in my slow stitch, the pieces of fabric in my slow stitch. And then put the name on. These these bits are from Ellie Bean. So I will be. Oh, hi, Melanie. Melanie, does that mean that you're, are you at the door, Melanie? Or are you at your house? <laughs> Just in case I'm not answering the door. <laughs> I can't, I didn't hear the bell ring. <laughs> oh, so nice to see you, Melanie. Come on, come on in. <laughs> you're at home. I just thought, what if I hadn't? missed you and left you standing outside what am I sewing it on I'm sewing it on to batting or wadding depending on what country you're in but equally so I started sewing it onto an old nighty but it it, it had um ruffles and it just I, I thought with this it's 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 firmer and less floppy and I just felt it was easier to work with but you could use what you have you could use an old pillowcase yeah Melanie some of the fabric is from you <laughs> lovely I love the 1950s style and so it was happy mail last week and it's a journal cover this week <laughs> Hello, people, says Maljoy. <laughs> oh, so nice to see everybody. So then what I do is I pop, pop that. Thank you, Ellie. And that will be what I'll be working on this week. So when I say, oh, I'm slow stitching, and I will show you next week. What else have I been working on? Do you remember last week I showed you the snippet rolls? <laughs> and I said, it's nice to have some blank snippet rolls all made up. Here's another one. This is the envelope from Melanie last week. Nothing wasted, Melanie. <laughs> oh, so I thought it had some cute little pictures on it I can see the Eiffel Tower there but I thought as you're as you pop your little scraps as you're doing various projects make some pop them on your snippet roll so this is the one I finished from last week and it's just such a joy to joy to make I put some paper buttons on flip-flops because I love the flip-flop stickers. They've all gone on there, all gone on there. <laughs> so that's a lovely long snippet roll. And when I had my machine out, because I was making my little zine, I sewed round the envelope and I've got another snippet roll there. And during the week, I'm going to use this one today. During the week, I will be sticking some bits on there. So it's it's like having, uh, this is from Kathy. it's like having a lovely little journal just to stick bits in. Or you could have a, if you don't want a little journal to stick bits in, have, have a little snippet roll. <laughs> and these... These were snippet rolls from left over from my forest zine. So, but they're shorter. So with when you're when you've done a project, you've got a desk full of leftovers. Mm. 
I'm just catching up. <laughs> Dixie scrappy ideas. Yes, using your squats because I've, I've made this little zine, which I'm going to show you in a minute. But you can imagine when you're doing that, my desk was full of glorious green snippets. <laughs> so these are more borders. I didn't make them into snippet rolls, but literally, if you haven't got a sewing machine, you can do faux stitching or no stitching. Create what makes you feel happy. <laughs> so yeah, that's literally just scraps, isn't it? And I was, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to use that in a minute because it's great to make things and it's great to use things. Oh, just one last one that I'm going to use this week or keep as is. With those little scraps of book paper, they're all joined together and sewn together. There's some tea dyed bed sheet there. And those are just sewn on. You can sew them or glue them. Mm. <laughs> Oh, Barbara, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. I don't know. We love our bits. You thought that was a biscuit. <laughs> oh, dear. What do you like, Jennifer? It is nearly snack time. <laughs> Let me just show you the zoom and I'll show you how I'm going to use the snippet rolls in a minute. We were made... I made this little zine, and of course, because I have made it into a little forest house, ooh, little bird's nest, <laughs> and ooh, a little fairy, a little woodland fairy, <laughs> because it's not the normal size, and it can't be taken apart to photocopy because that's a lot of you are creating a zine for a swap in Janet Young on Janet Young's channel. This is a different sort of zine. Let me show you. Go to Becky's channel, links below. Hold on, Becky. Because Becky last week made her own little house journals and she had the normal size zine and then just cut the roof. But go to Becky's because she, she made them into a cottage. So you just cut there. And then this can go, you can photocopy it if, if you want to and send the photocopied photocopies to people. Thanks, Sam, Kathy. Oh, Pam. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. I, it's because I like little books, I can't resist making little zines. So you can either do this way and extend it, or if you want to do a more traditional one, oh, Becky's one, Becky is probably cooking now. Are your ears burning, Becky? I loved your cottages. I wanted to push the boundaries a bit more because we've done a fabric one. And I thought, could we make, around zoom i didn't get a chance to do more because i've been doing enjoying the sewing but a little bit like you're making the joined up people and gingerbread men draw around something like a circle just make sure it's joined this side and joined that side and it opens up into a round zine <laughs> and you cut the cut the, the the middle two and pop it there <laughs> oh dear has Becky come back I don't think her ears are burning she's at, she's at the stove so a round a round zine so I'm going to put that on my pile if when I want to do paper crafts, so you can see that I do share this most weeks. I, I, I like to have, see, see how I feel. Do I feel like making snippet rolls? Do I feel like doing paper craft? Do I feel like doing my sewing? <laughs> so 
I'll show you next week. Or maybe you'd like to have a go at making a round zine. So here's my little, so I tell you, um, the grandkids have arrived, said Cathy. Peace has been shattered. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. Do a paper doll zine. Yes, paper doll zine. Paper doll zine. Do you mean where they all join up and hold hands like the um like the gingerbread men? I've written it down, Beth. I've written it down. Pop numbers in because I would like to send this little woodland zine, would like to go traveling now around the world or around the UK. So when you have a zine, you can make the bottom, glue its little bottom and put some little tags. I've, I've mixed fabric and paper. I do like to do that. This one says under the trees. Look, there's the numbers coming in. Put numbers in for yourself and numbers for other people. Woodland wonder, being in the forest. Forests possess a rich and deep mythology all of their own. And here's a little, this beautiful book page with glitter. This was from Alison from AJ Inspired Life. And that little book page waited until I had a special place. There's Alicia. Good morning. So nice to see you. Hmm. Really nice to see you. <laughs> Becky, Becky, you're back. Becky, I was singing your praises uh, and just briefly showed everybody your template for the, for the houses. But to pop over to your channel to see your glorious English cottage zine, a true zine. It's got um, little bits at the side. Has it got another? It's got another tag somewhere. And this one says, chance to unwind. There's Deanie. Good morning, Deanie. Have you been quietly sewing and using, using up your threads? <laughs> oh, you do some lovely work, Deanie. So, yes, let's go to random.org and we'll, we'll, um, I haven't put one of those paper clips on it. I will put one of those paper clips on it. Let me just. Put one of these on, the little beads that I did. I've been making some more of those. I did those last week when I went to the lavender field, didn't I? Oh, right, let's do, let's put that there. I like to send things around the world. There's lovely Ruth. Ruth, dear, did you put a number in? Um, <laughs> and numbers for anybody and everybody. Let me pop my glasses on so I do this right. <laughs> Random number generator. There we are. Oh, we've got it. Between one and a hundred. And so it's on or under the nearest under. You're currently hunting for a new band saw specifically to cut a book into the shape of a house. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, I'm glad I saw that comment to read that out to the Keep the replayers just in case you don't want to read the chat. Wow, that is an amazing idea. Have you seen the journals where people fold the pages into shapes as well? Sue's coming in with a number. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, Janice is getting ready for ready for work. Did you say goodbye, Janice? If you did, take care. I'm going to generate the number now. And the number is 25. Who was nearest on or under to 25? Let's, let's do that. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I'll do that at the end. I'll do the others at the end. Um, oh, we've got, we've got things to do. <laughs> oh. Carol on the dot. Carol from Magical Magical Touch Studios. 
and to send Carol a little zine. Oh, that's lovely. That's it, magicals. I'm just, I had a message on the phone. I just keep that open just in case somebody's trying to contact me, just in case there's something wrong with the stream. Just before we have a snack, Freddie's down here keeping cool to show you how I'm going to use. These are probably going to get sent in happy mail. I'll pop those over there. And let me show you how I'm going to use my. Here's our lovely prompt altered magazine book. Not many pages left. I'm going to make some pockets. Look, I've only got a few pages left. I have been tearing three pages out, sticking two together. And it, it's not too chunky, is it? I don't think. <laughs> I'll get that in the post. Posting it to Canada. How lovely. So I'm going to fold that down there. And that's going to make a pocket. Oh, who did I get this idea from? I got this idea from watching. Carol and Anne, I will leave links to their channels. Carol and Anne, Anne Lair. Mm. Can you please send it to Nika? She is new to your place. Oh, thank you, thank you. That is so kind of you. I will, Nika in Belgium. A welcome present to Mika. And Mika was doing a wonderful draw um, house on your on your channel. She was drawing, colouring, wasn't she? Thank you for that. That's so kind of you. I'm not quite sure whether Mika's still here or stepped out of the room to everybody, but you will help me find a way to contact her. There's Mika. You were acrylic painting a house. Sorry, I lost my words. Oh, how lovely. Wasn't that lovely? Yes, welcome, welcome, Mika. Welcome to the family. Mm. So, yes, this was one of the, ah, oh, when I saw you making the altered books, love making altered books. I haven't got one on the go. So I thought I'm going to alter some pages in my, is it a glue book? Is it a mixed media book? I don't know. <laughs> there's, there's cats. Happy Monday, Cat. Oh, you've been listening in the background and you fixed your oatmeal and your coffee. Oh, thank you. I had so much fun making the zine. It's quite nice. Just use scraps on your desk if you want to. I, I found it nice having a theme. So I've got, what have I got? I've got one, no, that goes there. I'm folding three pockets and probably making it as clear as mud as usual. And this one I'm just going to fold down like this. Lovely. So if you go over to Carol, you've been following someone, haven't you, Carol? You see, I've messed it up, of course, because. I'm doing it live. Did you mess it up when you did it? Um, um, that one goes there. That one goes there. Can't make three. Oh, and now I've ripped it. Oh, I love it when a plan comes together. So today I'm making two pockets, not three. <laughs> I'll stick this one together. Oh, dear. Adapt and overcome. <laughs> there we are, two pockets, two pockets are better than, oh no, hold on, that makes, oh, the last page makes a pocket, I love that, I just roughly do that, oh wow, if you want a better idea, of, yes, there we are, so that one's there, so you've got that there, that one there, 
and that one there would become a pocket. Oh, I love that. So I am going to use my snippet roll. Ta-da! As you can use them on the edge, you can use them in Happy Mail. I'm going to snip, snip, snip. It's got fabric. It's got that dear little ladybird that got a little bit snipped. How wonderful. And for the quickness of time, I, just because I can, I'm going to staple my border on. That's one pocket. There. And here's the other one. I probably, do I need, oh, yes. Of course, um, of course, oh yes, do it there. It, did I see Rebecca come in? Oh no, it's, it, it's Ruth. <laughs> nice to see you, Ruth. And then you can go in with another one. Or I think I'm going to put some washi down that one. I think that's enough. Don't overdo it, Janet. I'm going to put that one there for Happy Mail. A lovely, bright, bright border for the pockets. And then with this pocket, I'm just going to put some... just shows us where the pocket is if we put a border on it. So, yes, do go to... Oh, here's Janet USA. You love doing. I know, right? I know. Yes, it's snack time. Yes, I know. Of course. Oh, there's a pocket there. There's a pocket there. Well, there we are. So what I'm going to do is... Obviously, Janet can't think and chat at the same time. But I have, I'm fairly happy that I have ended up with three pockets. And we're going to be using these later when we do, when we've had our snack time. Because as Barbara so rightly says, it is snack time. There we are. And the papers can go in like this. And like this, and we're going to be, I'm going to be collaging on these later. Ta-da! <laughs> There's Nettie, good morning. <laughs> You'd like a snippet roll from a biscuit. Oh, I know. It's like, it's like, um, come on, Jana, it's snack time. <laughs> there we are. How to use a snippet roll. What? One of the many ways. Loaded oatmeal in hand. You're joining Cat with the oatmeal breakfast. Let's have a snack, shall we? <laughs> That's me using those. My snippet roll. Freddie, do you want to come sit up here for your snack? Because people would love to see you, darling. But I realise it's quite hot. It's quite hot. Come and sit up here, darling, and have your snack. Oh, I don't want to. Sit up here, Poppet. No? I don't want to. Okay. Little snacks. <laughs> oh, Dixie, Cheryl Cat, you came in. Um, did I say good morning enough to you, Cheryl? I feel maybe even I said it in my head. This one's from Cheryl. How is your head, Cheryl, dear? There you go. Come and sit up here for Mummy. What, pretty? Come on, darling, come and sit up here. Come on. Cooper's. Oh, we must have tied Cooper out, I tell you. He's fast asleep in the kitchen. Freddie is pooped out on the floor. Your karma's doing the same. Oh, he is a good boy, isn't he, Nettie? I know. <laughs> Jade, good morning. Jade, is it your first time in the chat? I don't feel I've met you before, Jade. And now you're going to say, you have, you have. <laughs> right, where's my... 
Oh, I, my mug of the day. I've just got this old one here that's all I've already used. I had one out and I washed it up. <laughs> Not to be. I love my Christmas ones. It's got snowflakes in. What have we been cooking this week? It's so funny. Yes, we are having biscuits. <laughs> We've got shortbread biscuit actually. I think you've had your your treat thing is empty, Freddie. It's all gone, darling. It's all gone now, darling. <laughs> so nice to meet you, Jade. Come on in. Come on in. Let me know if it's your first time here. <laughs> so nice to see you. I've been using my Beatrix Potter um cookbook and this is just this is just so funny this is so me um the boys are used to me uh i've made grass me gingerbread and i made it during lockdown in 2020 and i've made a note here saying it's like brownie ginger brownie and um i made it again and it is, it's like shortbread biscuit now. So when I made it during lockdown, I must have put double the amount of butter in or something. I made it wrong. And it made a lovely gooey ginger brownie. Sam said last night, because he was teasing me, he said, oh, I did prefer it when you did it wrong. But the thing is, I don't know what I did wrong. So today, <laughs> Today we have, let me just stretch over here, excuse me, I'm just going to get some um, hand sanitizer here, if I can get it to come out, yes I can, um, ginger shortbread, mm. oh you liked the coconut biscuits, the Anzac biscuits from last week, <laughs> Happy accidents. I know, I know. It is so, so typical of me to butcher a recipe and it goes nice and then the boys say, say oh, I really liked it like that. <laughs> and then they never get it again. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> I don't want to waste the... Um, waste the mixture by using putting butter in it so i've got my i've got my toast and jam tea which is my favorite at the moment i do i do associate it with being with you mm, lovely just never mix up the salt and the sugar absolutely abs yeah that would be wrong <laughs> oh look he's just flat out on the floor here it's cooling on the floor i took all, away all the um all the blankets uh because i thought that would make it cooler for him so here we are here is in my peter rabbit tin <laughs> i've got my gingerbread shortbread it it's got oatmeal in it we don't seem to do oatmeal over here, so I whizzed up oats, whole oats, to make the oatmeal, because that's what oatmeal is. So it's lovely. I'm not going I'm, I'm to put some milk in my tea, just because I can. <laughs> I'm gonna, I don't want to cry over spilt milk. I'm going to put it over here. <laughs> oh, sit and have a nice cup of tea together. How lovely. <laughs> and I'll put that there because I'm not going to chew in front of you. <laughs> when when we when we finish the stream, I'll have a quick hmm. shortening bread. <laughs> la 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 la. la. <laughs> mm. Malaya, thank you for putting in links. That's so kind. Malaya, have you put a link in for your channel too? That is lovely. That is lovely to see. And it's lovely to see new people and it's lovely to see familiar faces. And it's wonderful to have the people in the background as well. So what have I what have I got to show you this week? 
Maria Kay, who hasn't come in today, must be fast asleep and will be on the replay, gave me this very luscious happy mail last week. And it would be easier to work in if I didn't sew it together. But of course, I cannot resist making journals. I love journals, notebooks, always have done. Mm. So I, and this, so I put a variety, I put the papers that Maria sent, and I've also, this lovely paper here, that's from Janet USA in chat here, and this feather. So, oh, I haven't explained, I'm making a boho journal. <laughs> oh, and we've got lovely singing in the chat. Mm. Oh, Cheryl, that's so kind of you. you you've been creating um, ATCs this week. You just do what you can when you can, though, Cheryl, because I know you've had such a year. Mm. I know. I just wanted to find it. You know that. You banned lots of books on your stream yesterday. Isn't this luscious paper? This feather, I knew I would find something. I put it as a page edge. This is from Alison at AJ's Inspired Life, and it's shiny. And Beth sent me... Um, happy Mail. So I've made a page and and now I'm going to question myself. I, I'm not going to look at other people's definitions of boho journals, but I'm going to, I want to define the word. And I want, I just thought this lady here in 1891, here's her ticket. And she looks quite formal and I believe they used to call it Anne will know when they when they used to go traveling they had it was something they did was it oh it was called the grand tour and people would go by train with their chaperone or their family it was like a coming of age thing and this this lovely lady is going to go on her travels and she when she's there, she's going to go to many countries, I think India and Egypt. I'm going to discover what countries were on the grand tour. And that's when they used to find all the patterns and be inspired. And things became gloriously luscious in those days. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Mm. Not yet, Jennifer, but um, mail does arrive. I, I am going to show you Kathy's mail soon. And that, that's been on the, on the go since 22nd of June. And then it popped through the door. <laughs> so this is paper that Laura, our lovely Laura, sent me. And it's from dyed paper from Amy from Hags Hollow. This is, this is Maria paper. So, yes, I'm going to go on a little journey to find, to find out more about mm, a grand, a grand theme. You've probably done this sort of um, exploration, haven't you, Anne? Yes. And thank you. Thank you, Beth. For the beautiful happy mail. If you notice here, I've been saving it for a very special occasion. Beth actually made this button. Isn't that amazing? It's made from pottery. It's very special. <laughs> so I'll pop that there. I need a name for this lady. I, would, can anybody think of a name for her? Travels with my aunt. Excellent movie starring Maggie Smith. From 1972. Oh, oh, wow. Travels with my aunt. I, I have a feeling I've read novels 
um, in the past with this sort of theme. Yes. Mm. I call her Blondie <laughs> or Blondel. <laughs> That's a modern name. Oh dear. Blond Blondel. Is that him? Or oh, Blondie? I could call her that. I will there. Blondel. If, if, am I pronouncing it right? <laughs> oh, that is, has anybody else seen that movie? Travels with my aunt. And what do you know what era it was set in? Um, how wonderful. I just let me show you before we do our prompts. This is a pocket I made this week. If I see if I see someone's video, I can't resist making a pocket. This was from Christina Shack. Christina Shack. Oh, I love it. Nice, simple pocket. I will send you over there. Love it. It's got a V shape. You can put a V shape card in there. So I'll pop that over there because that's going to make gorgeous happy mail. Mm. Oh, I totally get it. Mm, totally get it, Cheryl. Um, don't don't worry about Taiwanese. Look at this gorgeous happy mail from Julia. Look at the intricacies, front and back, and the stitches and a flower with the ladybird. It's a little half. You shared a wonderful video in your group of a stacked envelope signature oh you made you made a lovely journal this week didn't you becky on your channel i'll be linking your channel yes you made an envelope a paper bag journal didn't you and pam if you're still here pam i i watched your friday sews and i loved the journal that you made your your foray into mixed media and of course our Pam from um, Pam Sews, is it your channel, Pam Sews? Made by Pam. Also does mechanics as well on cars. A good all-rounder. <laughs> Isn't it lovely? Thank you, Beth. And I'm going to get a peg. A little teal peg here. Oh, and it's going to Pam. You're sending it to Pam. That's right. Pam won that, didn't she? I'm going to go and peg that up here. I will show you tomorrow when I make a video. I put some little fairy lights up here as well. I'm going to hang that up above the fireplace. Thank you so much, Julia. <laughs> Such patience to make that. Thank you. Vanessa's got to get going. You have an appointment. Take care. Take care, Vanessa. Thank you for joining us. Mm. Oh, you, you had a fall, didn't you, um, Cheryl? We were concerned about you. Yes, yeah. Mm. And you're going to be making cards this week on your Wednesday at high noon. Just if you want to know when Becky streams, it's a Wednesday high noon. So just think a Western movie. And you'll remember the time. <laughs> hmm. And that, so this is the happy mail that was. So your happy, your postcard will arrive, Jennifer. I, I feel sure. We have to be patient. <laughs> Sometimes our postal services are off sick, aren't they? At them still. Look at this wonderful friendship block. This is from Kathy D. Thank you, Kathy D. I love it. I think I've got most of them now. Um, I will be putting them together. Melissa, hi. So nice to see you. you oh, Jennifer needs the teal peg. <laughs> oh, dear. I don't know. So thank you, Kathy D. That I, that's so kind of you. And you made me an ATC as well. And it says dance. You've got the lovely, isn't that gorgeous? It's got a it's got a vintage piece of 
children's art on, on there. I love it. Thank you. Oh, I know. This is one of my favourite cups, Cat. It's meant to be winter. I think I associate my, I've got my one with Father Christmas on. I, I think I associate them with comfort and warmth. So I do tend to use them quite a lot. <laughs> we bought this from TK Maxx, I think. Mm. <laughs> you love blue and teal, I know. Mm. You've almost finished your friendship. Um, star quill oh wonderful wonderful Ruth I can't wait to see it oh Becky your potter sister makes mugs with little lizards hiding inside the cups oh that's amazing oh Sam would love that he loves things I loved the video of your sister's pottery um exhibition sale was that a reminiscence fair? So thank you, Kathy D. Thank you, thank you. And I loved the little note that came with it. It, um, it was something that Kathy had bought. I asked her whether she'd made it. It says, tag, swap, wish, random act of kindness or prize. And you just ring round which one it is from. And what project it is, quilt block swap. That's amazing. Oh, Mary's in the background with busy hands doing the Tunisian stitch. It's, thank, and that's another thing we're doing with Aunt Bex. It's gradually getting, we're gradually getting to know it, aren't we? Yes. Sending love to our Teresa who inspired me to put a tassel on my big paper clip. Thanks, Teresa. And we really will be thinking of you this week it in my tea <laughs> and you and Rick sending love to you and Rick dear Teresa mm. and look at this lovely happy mail from Beth I put the napkin on book paper the napkin was from Beth and this is one of Beth's painty birds <laughs> so this one's dancing it's got some music it's very happy to be to have come all the way across the sea <laughs> oh dear. tea stains tassel perfect <laughs> oh dear. so thank you Beth I think your little painted watercolour birds are perfect mm. Tunisian oh Mikey at the crochet crowd has just shared a video of making Tunisian pumpkins. Oh, fun, fun, fun. I can't quite think of autumn yet. <laughs> oh dear. We, we're going to be having some, for us, some higher temperatures later on in the week. <laughs> mm. I bet your mum's finding it hot down in Florida. She must be acclimatising, Kimberly. So let's find, let's find some of these handy dandy pockets that I made earlier. <laughs> and I'll take, I will be gluing these together. Oh look, that one's stuck, this one hasn't. But I'm gonna take this, this out of here and I'm going to do my prompts on this. This is from the old, hmm, the old typewriter book. Which, which I've got handwriting this side or typing this side. I love them both. I'll probably use both sides. Right. So let's get some prompts out, shall we? Mm. They're beach buns. They love the sun and the heat. Oh, they'll love it then. Mm. Mm. Aunt Beck said she'll be back in a bit. Yeah, mm. definitely. Definitely on backs. <laughs> Let's pick some prompts. I'm not looking. There's a little Freddy down here. <laughs> there we are. You have a tin of costume jewellery from your mother too in Wisconsin. Um, oh, that, that's not where you live. Is that 
in storage memory. It's hard when you can't get to your things, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, Mary's going to do a little sketch in her scribble journal. Um, no pressure though, Mary, if you can't find it or you just want to relax and do the Tunisian stitch, never any pressure. Right, so what have we got? What have we got? I might need to put my glasses on. That's a funny one. Peach. Oh, do you know when I read peach, I was thinking as in um, the giant peach. Oh, you could put a pe peach colour, maybe. <laughs> peach. <laughs> I was thinking of different colours, maybe, when I read that. Still snacking. Coconut milk and warm oatmeal raisin cookies. You snack away. So am I. Cheers, Jens. <laughs> mm. Mm, lovely. Peach. Have I got any, have I got anything that's peach coloured or even peach? <laughs> Let me get my napkins out and see if I have anything peach coloured. It'd be nice to think that I, oh. Oh. You could argue that that's peach coloured. <laughs> no arguing. And the first one I put my hand on. Oh, I'm going to go for it. Do you know the rules are? There are no rules. Have I got any peach coloured paint? Or peach coloured ink? I doubt it. But I thought um, maybe do you know how you make peach colour? I think, is it blue and yellow? See, I'm no expert, I'm absolutely no expert. You don't have to be an expert to have a YouTube channel. I'm, oh, I'm here. Oh, I haven't written it on. Oh, I wonder who sent me these lovely napkins. If you sent me these napkins, let me know. And I thank you. Peach cobbler or oh, a recipe for peach cobbler. Oh, Mary, this one's for you. Have you made your peach cobbler yet? Mm. And of course, when I finish this, I will be looking through something and I'll find a picture of the peach. <laughs> Yesterday in chat, someone said their mother used to add orange pop to a can of peaches and make homemade peach ice cream. Was that Kathy C? She was making mm, peach cobbler, one of your favourites. Oh, I think that's because now it's hard on camera. I would say that that's more peachy coloured. And I love napkin on. Oh, this could not be better. Let me get my. I've been using this this week. <laughs> Let me get a brush. I'll get this brush because I don't want to ruin a, uh, another brush. Oh, I've been using tomorrow's project. It's taken me over the seven days. A long process for tomorrow's. And I've been using this glue. Oh, of course, there's still paint left on this brush. That's naughty. Oh, well, never mind. It just adds colour and texture. Mm. This is a mixture of PVA. We had a glue discussion, didn't we, Malena, yesterday in one of the streams. We had a super, super time at everybody's streams. And then we end, I ended the day because um, I had to go to bed because it was late, but Deb Ferrells, and she was making fairy journals and adding wings to fairies. So it was so my scene. You have a white peach in your food order. Oh, yes, you can get white peaches. You're going to make your peach cobbler. Yes, yes. I remember you saying in one of your streams that you had bought them, Mary. 
What a lovely napkin. And while this is, I love to put napkin over book pages. And it is particularly nice when you've got, you use glue as well. Makes it nice and shiny. <laughs> Peaches, wonderful peaches from on. Um, I can't even, can't even get Ontario. What am I like? Where oh, they grow where Carol does. So I can't. We don't grow many peaches here because it's not warm enough. Yet I can't believe that Canada gets so cold, but then gets warm enough peaches. They must be. Are they under glass or something? They, they used to grow them in wall gardens. And you can still see them in wall gardens here. Because the terracotta bricks keep it warm. Oh, that is lovely. Peach colour. That was fine. I think it's the gluing is very relaxing. <laughs> it's wrinkly, but... Hey ho. Mm. Yeah, there you go. It's not just me. Um, Gail. Gail Ann's surprised about the peaches up there too. Yeah. You've got such um, a short window for growth, haven't you? Mm. Oh, it's probably a more hardy breed of um, mm. shades of peach. Yes. Shades of peach. How lovely. Well, that was a fun prompt. Hmm. They grow them in British Columbia as well, but the ones from Ontario are so nice. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, thank you, Joe. They it, it it's so lovely because you can still see the writing underneath. That is a lovely napkin. Maybe someone in the comments will say to me, Oh, Jenna, I sent you that. I I I often write on the napkins. I do love to. I do love to um, know who they're from, and then I can say thank you. Mm. You have two peach tree in your yard. The animals come to eat them. They're the ones that drop. I see you've got one in your garden, and it just gets so unbelievably cold in the winter there. Ah. Oh, Here's Janet B. Oh, so nice to see you. You don't catch me live because you're away at the moment, aren't you? So lovely to see you. Jens, you have that napkin. Did you send me this napkin, Jens, dear? And I didn't write on it. I'm wondering whether you did. You sent me lovely happy mail, didn't you? Let's have another prompt, shall we? Why not? Let me put my glasses on. I need to see some are crossed out. Those three are crossed out. I've written again. Oh, I like this one. Oh, the wonders and marvels of nature. <laughs> so interpret that how you will. The wonders and marvels of nature. Let I tell you what I'm going to do. Because if you're not playing long, you might be just watching, you might be just listening. Oh, you got up early. Oh, Janet, and the time difference, you see. Oh, I know. I do hope you're having a lovely break. It's been lovely to catch you this weekend in people's chats. So I do hope you're having a nice time. Yeah. Mm. You have been sending me things for ages since I very first joined the community, which was about two and a half years ago, wasn't it? Yes, maybe, maybe longer, because I was still, I was still working then. Somebody bought me this gorgeous book, Cat Kitson Prints. So I'm going to look in here and you'll be able to look at the same time for the wonders and marvels of nature. How lovely. 
Oh, lovely. These fabrics are inspired by nature. I love windows. Mm. So it's a beautiful book, and I, I've already, Julia, I, your Happy Mail page came from here. I'm going to be using it as an altered book and journal, but I'm going to be here. I've torn the page out. The page had horses on. I wonder who I sent that to. <laughs> Someone here loves horses. <laughs> oh, dear. Kath Kitson is very inspired by nature. How lovely is this book? And they, they saw it in a charity shop and they thought of me and they bought me the book. So, I yes, I am going to. I'm going to use it. Look at this lovely 1960s style. Mm, how lovely. When I think of Kat Kitson, I don't know whether in the States you have Kat Kitson, but um, you think of flowers. I'm going to cut this page out here. I'm going to tear it out. Oh, I'm so sorry if you think, oh gosh, I'm using the book. But I, I work, it's got a beautiful cover. I've been using it. It will become an altered book using some of the pages, or it may become just the journal cover. I'm going to use it and share it. <laughs> I just thought you'd like a little flip through there. Mm. Oh, not yet. Not yet, Janet. But I hold out hope. I hold out hope because um, I received some mail from Kathy D and it had been on the go since the 22nd of June. So our mail is coming through very slowly. I think when some of our, our post people are on holiday, that they don't they don't replace them so when they're on holiday you have a break and then you don't get the post look at this gorgeous window and the drapes they're not um, they're inspired by nature mm. Cheryl's going to the table Cheryl you've you've had quite a trauma I will say traumatic you've had a traumatic week weekend so you do you do what you feel you can do. Now, I'm, oh, Margaret, there you are. Good afternoon. So nice to see you. I'm putting this window in here like that. And then I'm going to come in with that napkin again and put some over there it's just a gentle look through the window there and this will probably go on an envelope I do love pop that over there getting a big pile over there so nice to see you uh, Margaret we have lovely chats normally Margaret Ali and myself are chatting late at night in Beth's and so we're there with our evening cup of tea, aren't we? I'm going to come in with the flower over the window like that. I'm just using my print stick. Oh, I could use my, my coconut. My coconut, um, is it? No, cornstarch, potato starch glue. Yes. <laughs> oh. Let me, I'm just sorry, catching up. I don't want to. You take you take your time, Mum, Cheryl dear. No rush, no rush. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. So I've just done it so the, the, the napkin goes over the window so it sort of ties it all in. So there we are. Nice breath of fresh air with the window open. And can you see? My window's a little bit the same here. Let me find Moon. You can see that. Sorry, Freddie, dear. I've got the door open here. And 
we've got the air and nature just outside. I can't hear the birds because it's too it's too hot for the birds to be singing, isn't it, today? I think that's the conclusion we came to. No. Hold on, I have to see which ones are crossed out. I need to put my glasses on. Yeah, Cheryl says, if, if um, she doesn't want to be rude, but you, you have had a year, but you do want to make ATC, so don't be afraid of chatting to Cheryl or myself. If, if you, um, if Cheryl's concerned that she's forgotten to send somebody an ATC, and yeah, of course, it, with the memory issues, Cheryl, yes, yeah. And I think that will make you feel happier if you know that people can approach you to say, Cheryl, um, you didn't send me one, you won't be offended. I think that's that's a really good way to, to look at it, yeah, yeah. Hmm. You sent out a bunch of, some receive their mail fast and other, oh yeah, the mail's like that, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Janet, um, Cooper's in the kitchen and he's asleep. So we had a long walk and it's quite warm. He's got water in there. And he seems calmer today. <laughs> oh dear. So yes. And then we'll go straight out afterwards. <laughs> Ah, oh, oh, how funny. I think it's this one. Yeah, we've had that one and we've had that one. Yeah, so it is. Oh, how funny. Add flip flops. How funny. So have you all, any of you in, in um, have you got flip flops? Have I got any more on a sticker? Let me get my sticker book out and see if I've got more flip-flops. Oh, how funny. Or you might have some in a magazine. Or just if you can't, if you haven't got flip-flops, just add what makes you happy. Oh, look. I'm looking through my stickers. And what makes me happy is this peach-coloured bird. I think he wants to perch on the window. <laughs> Would it be good if I cut away the white? So as, use the prompts. No, I can't peel him off now. So it is what it is. <laughs> there he is, sat there. Let me just come round. That makes me happy. Do what makes you happy. There we are. Oh, how. Oh, there, give him a little eye. And there he is, sitting on the window. How lovely. Right, flip-flops. I got myself distracted. Oh, hi, my take on the lake. Good morning. Oh, you can't hang out for long, I know. You're busy and it's still the summer. For you, isn't it? Oh, so nice. Now, your name is is no, it's gone. It begins with an R. Oh, oh, we've been chatting, haven't we? In comments, I love chatting to people in comments. Kerr, oh, uh, Kerry, yeah, Kerr. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Oh, what am I like? We had a lovely chat. Um. I am sharing, you do journals, but you have other avenues of art too, which you might like to share here with people. And you have a channel as well. I'll share it in the links down below. Mm. You sent three letters to the same address to the USA and they arrived. And yeah, they arrived at different times. I know, I know. Hmm. So let's see if I can find flip flops. And if I can't, I do know where some are because I've just used them. I think I use my flip flop stickers. Or you might be able to draw some. You might be able to draw some. I know where my flip flop stickers were. Oh! They were here. They were on here. 
Oh, I have a flip-flop ribbon as well. Look at that ribbon. Oh, okay. Have I got any of that left? That was sent to me in Happy Now. Was that from, was that from Becky W? Sent me flip-flop um, ribbon. <laughs> They're pretty easy to draw, aren't they? So I don't know why I'm... Hmm. Let me just get my ribbon jar and see if the flip-flop ribbon is in here, or whether I used it all up. Hmm. I think I used it all up. So I'm going to take some of that ribbon from here. <gasps> How naughty. I have to. Oh, there's. Look, that person's still got some flip flops. I'll put something else on there instead. Sorry, snippet roll. And I'm going to put those flip flops. Ah, I think the tag tabs that way because it's going to go in the page. I'm going to staple. Mm. There you go. There. There's my flip flops and my little bird as well. <laughs> I'm going to do some writing on there because if you've just come in, today's um, theme is create what makes you feel happy. Snippet roll won't mind. I know. <laughs> We're making our own rules up. There's um, Mary Kay, so nice to see you. Come on in. So nice to see you. Oh, really nice to see you. Let's have another. Oh, this is an interesting one. Flecked. What was I thinking? Like a pattern that's flecked? Like eggs that have got a fleck on them? Or was I thinking I could flick paint? That's the fleck, isn't it? Oh, how interesting. Shall we just, shall I flecked? Hmm. Sometimes I don't know what I'm thinking when I write these um, prompts. Sometimes they've been in there for a year and not <laughs> flecked. This piece of paper, oh, it has been used before, flecked. That's another <laughs> Pretty soon the flip flops will be put away. I know. Oh, thank you, Aunt Mary Kay. That's so kind of you. Flex. Let's. I'm going to put my apron on and let's flick some paint. Unless, unless I have a speckled egg for the bird in my napkins. Wouldn't that be? Let's just see if. I do. And if I don't, that is fine. Let me just have a little look through. It's lovely to look through the napkins. Um, no. Just to make, ooh, I know. I know where a flecked. I don't know where a napkin is with the flex on because I am a little bit more organised now. Says she, says she. No, that's seagulls. <laughs> I'm going to make paint for that one. What ideas have you got for that one? Darlene, hi, so nice to see you. Oh, really nice to see you. Come on in. Come on in, take a seat, take a seat. So nice to see everybody. Oh, what colour shall I go with? I'm going to go with blue and I'm going to flick some paint. <laughs> and later on, I might find a, a fleck, flecked, speckled egg that I can put on here. But of course, at the time, sometimes it's just hard to find things. <laughs> Nice to see you, Gala. Come on in. Come on in. Let's get some blue. Gosh, it's getting late now, isn't it? Because I started later. Oh. Sometimes if you've got an old Posca pen, you can 
flick with those, but I actually treated myself a while back to a fan brush just so I could do some flex because lovely Sylvia always does. Oh, lovely. Oh, gosh, that's delicious. Oh, I love that. Oh, she always uses a, a fan brush. Oh, that is gorgeous. Right, I'll leave that there. Don't put your elbow in it, Janet. And um, I'll read some more prompts out. Painty fingers. How lovely. <laughs> ah, lovely. There we are. It's probably, if you want to use that one to finish with, it's probably best to finish with um, this sort of thing. Fred is down here. Uh, um, he... He's feeling very hot and I've got the door open, so he's on the floor. It's, it's wooden, it's quite, it's cooler, yeah. He's there. I know, the empty chair, I know. Let's pop that there. But well, I'm going to read out the other prompts and then, because it's time now, pop in some numbers for our goodbye draw, our prize draw at the end. <laughs> Hmm. Fleck with gold for Mary. So, yes, says Kat. Great idea. Hmm. He's there. He's always here. Always here. But you thank you. Lovely. Pop numbers in for yourself and for other people. Let me read this out. Oh, how interesting. I put this one in because I know a lot of you people love this sort of thing, universe. Now, I don't tend to, I'm going to have to find something with stars and the universe. A lot of people do like, oh, hold on. That's so funny. I have got these. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, yeah, a lot of you love to do that. So I put universe because I thought some people would really enjoy that. I try and do things that I I was probably on someone's stream and they were doing that. Yeah. Cheryl says, 67 for a person of your choosing. What a great idea. <laughs> well done. Well done, Cheryl. That's it. I've got these, and these are the, I've got some stickers here, how wonderful, and they're blue, and this is, oh, I love these, and this, oh, I love this, and I'm, I'm going to use this one, here's them, oh, we can't see them, they've got, they've got stars on them, I'm going to use that one. Melissa's put in um, a number for Beth. Bless you. I think baby Beth's gone to sleep. Yeah, that's so kind of you, Melissa. And pop a number in for yourself as well. That's really kind of you, Melissa. Hmm. There we are. Oh, well done. Yes, because Becky had to step away. Thank you so much, Mary. Um. Mary Kay, we're popping numbers in now if you want to put a number in because I do a, like a little prize draw at the end and send some happy mail. It's probably going to be from this week. It's probably going to be some snippet roll or whatever I've been making. Yeah. Yeah, one number for yourself and then numbers. You can put one number in for yourself and then pop numbers in for um, for other people as well from our community. or not from our community, for, for your mum or your dad or something. Yeah. For Joyce Boring. It's her birthday today. Oh, how lovely. Oh, that's lovely. We saw Joyce in a chat yesterday, didn't we? Mm. I will be putting these on my community tab later, these prompts. So let's generate a number between one and a hundred. Number 78. Hasn't today gone quickly? Ah, oh, 78. 
Who's on or nearest under 78? Dixie says, happy birthday to Joyce, just in case Joyce is here. I'm gently listening in the background. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Who's nearest on or under? Julia. There we are. Jul I will send, send something, some happy mail to Julia. That's lovely. I shall pop that down. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Julia on the button. That's lovely. I've got, just while I'm here, um, I've got two sets of numbers. One here is between 1 and 14. That's on my last week's video. And, and, and I'll just generate the number. That's number two. So that's to Beth. So I'm just going to... These, these are in the comments. It's lovely when you comment. It's very encouraging, but it's lovely to have that. I, I have little chats with people <laughs> oh, dear, about cheese sandwiches and things. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, lovely, lovely. And let me just generate another one between one and, this is from the Lavender um, video, one and 43. That's lovely, between 1 and 43. So when so if you're new here, what I've been doing is I've been making lists of people that write comments, just so, because a lot of people haven't got a chance to be here. So I don't want them missing out on the, on the little giveaways. Number 35. Janet USA. So I'm going to pop, do that there and pop that round there. Lovely. <laughs> so, oh, I can't believe it. So I will write the prompts down. So number five was universe. Oh, what a mixed up, what a mixed up set of prompts. The last prompt is rusty. Mm, rusty. And oh, I've got the universe one here. I'm going to put on this lovely little shooting star. If I can make it work. And rusty. Now you can you can put char rusty charms on, but I think I'm going to come round and make a border in a rusty colour on my little collage here. I'm going to bring it all together because I think the rust will go nicely with the peachy colour. And out of the window here, we've got the little bird. And just past here, in the window, as we're looking out of the window, is a little shooting star to remind us of people that are special to us. And the words I'm going to put on my collage are Create what makes you feel happy. <laughs> Don't feel any pressure, will you? Oh, yes. Janet's saying, but I mean, Barbara's saying heart, goodbye to all the crew. Oh, I couldn't do it without. What? Oh, what is on your desk? Oh, Flo is busy with Happy Mail. Do you mind me? Oh, right. You're making envelopes. Oh, you have a template. Oh, interesting. She has a template for little mini envelopes. Oh, how lovely. Is it a postcard here as well? Oh, that's delightful. Absolutely delightful little postcard. And some tissue. Who was that from, Cat? Well, that was from Cat, wasn't it, Flo? Yes. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. Oh. Goodbye, Darlene, and goodbye, Mary and Kimberly. Bye, Julia. Goodbye, Jennifer. You've been so much on my heart, Jennifer. You really have. You, you've had a tough old year. And and also um, to Chera as well. Freddie, come up, darling. Come up here. He's not moving today, is he? It's too hot for him. Bye, Kerr. So nice that you can. Um... She, yes, her little matches the dress. She, she is so busy. 
every time I come in here, she's working on something new. I know. Yeah, yeah. She's always so busy and so nice to see you. Yes, you you found me live. It's so lovely. And Anne, you have a wonderful week too. Bye, Mary Kay. And there's lovely Angela. Oh, so nice to see you. Take care, Angela. Ruth, happy sewing, getting that quilt done. Night, night, have a busy. Oh, you can hear his tail banging on it. No, and then he lies down. No, it's not to be. I will be making a video tomorrow. And there's plenty of Freddie and Cooper in that. Bless him. It's very hot. Mm. Take care, cat. Yes. Oh, I love these words. Cats saying have a happy, joyful, calm and relaxing and creating creative week, everyone. That's lovely words. <laughs> oh, goodbye, Carol. So nice to see you. Loka. Loka's sad because she Loka watches for freddie usually in the chair i can't can i move the camera yet at the end i will move the camera and then you'll be able to see him but i won't do it too soon because it's wobbly and might cut out <laughs> oh you take care jennifer well i i'll put the phone down no you put the phone down <laughs> oh so nice to see everyone i'll i'll um take care dixie take care Oh, mm. oh, Margaret, I'm glad you caught some of the live too. Oh, yes, yeah. Oh, let me, um, yeah, it's lovely. Lovely to chat. Lovely to chat, not in comments and on other people's lives, isn't it? Yeah, to chat in person, Margaret. Yes. <laughs> Bye, Jen. Yeah, he does. He's just hot and I don't want to, you know, get him to move too much if he doesn't want to. Mm. <laughs> We're not leaving. We're saying goodbye to everyone. I know. So it's going to go wobbly because I'm going to lift the camera up here. And whoopsie, close your eyes, everybody. Oh, really close your eyes, darlings, because um, oh, I have to thread it under there. Oh, right. You can open your eyes again now. It's not that I mind you seeing my room. Can you see? There is. There you go. There's the most by Sue, darling. The most important person. Oh, no, Wafflo. There he is. He's getting as near to the door as he can. Bless him. And we're going to go and get Freddy. Freddy. Little Cooper who must be fast asleep. I don't think we wake sleeping babies, do we? There he is, dear Freddy. <laughs> Isn't he lovely? Oh, bye, Cad. So nice that I could catch you live. And so lovely to hear about your wonderful creating. Bye, everybody. Take care. I will. I'll hang up the phone. It's going to get a bit wobbly. I swap hands and then I need to reach over, over here. Oh gosh, wobbly. I, I don't know how to work this thing. Right, there we are. Let me end the stream. Take care. Oh, da, take care. Take care, Becky. See you before, but see you at high noon on Wednesday. <laughs> um, e EST. <laughs> Ah, oh, Mika, so lovely to meet you this week. Oh, take care. Bye, everybody. And bye, replayers and gentle listeners. Have a really good week and create what makes you feel happy.